What's up? It's Karen's motherfucking podcast. What's happening with y'all? What's going on? The heat is coming. I know y'all feel it. It's hot. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely hot to the motherfucker out here. 100 degrees and shit. You feel me? 95 degrees at motherfucking 7, 8 o'clock in the fucking morning. I hate this fucking heat, man. It's annoying. I hate this shit. You know what I mean? COVID shit. You know what I mean? Shit about to let up soon. Uh, I think June 15th, shit is opening up out here. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's cool. Uh, they're supposed to be letting up with these masks and shit. A lot of people getting these vaccines. To each his own, man. I don't knock nobody getting that vaccine. Like I said on the previous episode, I'm not fucking with it. You know what I mean? Um, I don't trust the government like that. I don't, never did. So, excuse me. I'm just not even going to ride with that shit. But yeah. Episode motherfucking 52. What's happening with y'all? You know what I'm saying? June 2nd today. I went to record this shit last night, but <coughs> way things happened, I didn't get to. But I'm recording this shit now. June 2nd. Welcome to June. You know what I'm saying? All y'all that made it here. Congratulations, all y'all still rocking with me. You know what I mean? Episode, we 52 episodes in this motherfucker. You feel me? Um, this is going to be about Lady and Saints album, album review. You know what I'm saying? For all, y- all y'all that don't know who Lady Insane is, you feel me? That's all y'all better know who Twisted Insane is. You know what I mean? If y'all fuck with me, y'all been fuck with me. There's no way that you don't know who Twisted Insane is. You know what I mean? Um, so Lady Insane is the wife of Twisted Insane. Um, she just released her second album. Uh, it's called Near Dark. You know what I'm saying? And um, man, this album is fucking fire. We're going to get into every song and talk about every song. I done listened to this shit thoroughly. You know what I'm saying? This shit has been continuously slapping in my whip. It's been continuously slapping in my AirPods at work. All this shit. I mean, it's just an overall dope fucking album. You know what I mean? Um, It's only her second album. Um, She released the first shit called Deja Vu, which was also dope Um, as fuck. You know what I mean? She has the dope tracks on there. I think Gouda is definitely one of my top, top always go-to and listen to that motherfucking song on that album. It's called Gouda. That shit is fucking fire. You know what I'm saying? Along with hella other hits that she got on that motherfucking album. We're going to get into our second album today, though, called Near Dark. You know what I mean? Just released it, like, last week. You know what I'm saying? The first song she got is called uh, NBS. You feel me? Short for no bitch shit. You know what I'm saying? No bitch shit. You feel me? It's dope ass first song to start the spark the album off with that dopeness you know what i'm saying it's a dope first song um the song is the beat is dope as fuck uh it's a nice little slow beat you know what i'm saying and it it just kick in you know what i mean slowly and from the beginning you feel me and then she just kicked the dough in and come with that that bar for bar you feel me firing that you type shit with that ak you, know, you feel me shooting them bars at you, you know what I mean? The shit dope. She definitely spit on that shit, you know what I mean? And it's dope to hear like a, you know what I mean? A female, you know what I'm saying? Just spit on that dope street shit, you know? It's dope to hear a female in the rap game not talk about how good they fucking pussy is. Like, man, all these females in the game, man, that's all you hear is WAP and you feel me and how much they trying to, cash a nigga out and take a nigga for this and take a nigga for that. Like it's dope to hear a female artist one that's on that street shit. You feel me? Because she definitely owns some street shit on this album. And it's dope to hear her perfect her bars. You know what I'm saying? Like, <clears throat> like I said, it's only her second album and you will never be able to tell that by listening to her rhymes, by listening to the rhyme schemes, the bars, you can tell that she beat on that craft. And that's 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 what I admire. That's what I love for real. You know what I mean? I love the craft, man, of this rap shit. I don't like the little bullshit, you know what I'm saying, that a motherfucker put out just because he got star power or whatnot. I don't like that shit. Like Lil Wayne and, you know, like these niggas used to be raw, but they realize who they is. So they just put out that bullshit all the time. You know what I'm saying? They don't be beating on that craft. She beat on her craft. You can hear it in the music. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's the first song, NBS. 
called No Bitch Shit. You feel me? Sick shit, no bitch shit. Like I said, she spit on that shit bar for bar. Um, second song she got is called Mask and Hood. Another dope ass track. You know what I'm saying? Pull up with the mask and hood. You feel me? That shit dope as fuck. Um, with Twisted Insane. You know what I'm saying? Her and Twisted on this shit. That shit dope. The beat is dope. Um, her hearing her collab with Twisted is fucking dope to me. I don't know. It's it's not only that they a couple. It's just it's a good chemistry when them two on the song. I don't know what it is. I, maybe it's the flow. It's not even like the same flow because Twisted got a whole different type of spit and she got a whole different type of spit, but it's just them two on the track. I don't know. It sounds, it's just, it's a dope sound to me and I really fuck with it. You know what I mean? I'm a fan of both of them. You know what I'm saying? They both put out high quality fucking music. So when they both on the track, the shit dope. Uh, this song, you know, definitely on some more street shit on that Jack and nigga shit. You feel me? Twisted come, you know what I'm saying? With that dope twisted feel, you know what I'm saying? That twisted insane sound. He bring that, you know what I'm saying? With the second verse, kick the dough in, you know what I'm saying? With they with the lyrics, you know what I mean? Um, and it's just dope, man. Like he bring that nice flow. She got that nice flow. And her third verse is crazy. You know what I'm saying? I think she, I don't know what it is, man. It's like, just like I said, man, beating on that craft. You know what I'm saying? You can hear like after Twisted Rap and then she come on, you can just hear like, I don't know. I can hear it that she was exercising that pen. You feel me? And that shit dope as fuck. Dope ass hook. Dope ass rhyme, dope ass rhyme scheme over that beat, killing it. You know what I'm saying with the chopper style shit, the bar for bar shit. You can hear every fucking word. It ain't no mumbling. You know what I'm saying? That shit dope. You feel me? The hook just, you feel me? Pull up. You that shit dope. You know what I mean? That's definitely one of my favorite songs. Um, then she got a song called. Uh, Stay out my lane, you know what I'm saying, which is dope as fuck. Got my nigga T Nutty on there. Shout out to T Nutty Nut. You know what I'm saying? It's the Nutty. You feel me? Um, um, you feel me? It's the Nutty. Got T Nutty on there. Stay in the lane though. You know what I mean? T Nutty. You know what I'm saying? Um, definitely a dope start. T Nutty kick it off. You know what I'm saying? What is he bring that dope? You feel me? T Nutty. If you know T Nutty, you know what I'm saying. He going to bring his voice. He going to bring that energy. He going to bring that T-Nutty Nut shit. You know what I'm saying? That we all love when we fuck with T-Nut. You know what I'm saying? Um, he bring them dope-ass bars. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dress looking like the Predator. That's one of my favorite lines that he say. Because, you know, we rock these dreads. You feel me? Um, I definitely felt that line. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then towards the, towards the end of the verse, that... Ah, it's the hook. It's that triple demonic fast voice. That shit sounds so fucking dope to me. Like, I can't even really understand. It's so fast. I can't understand. I ain't really tried to uh, dissect what's being said, but the voice, that demonic, that sh I, I fell in love with that sound. I don't know. It shit just sound fucking dope. She used the same shit on a different song later on in the track. Man, that shit, that shit dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, it also got Triz up in here. You know what I'm saying? Uh, T99 and Triz. Um, Triz was on Twisted and Saints album. Um, you heard him on there. You heard a lot of Triz on a lot of T Nutty shit. Uh, Triz is a dope artist too. You know what I'm saying? Bar for bar, he not really the chopper style type of type of artist, but he spit bar for bar. You feel me? It's a craft. You feel me? That he definitely bring to that microphone. You know what I'm saying? He got his own lane, his own style, and then he fit in. You feel me? With these chopper style artists. You know what I mean? Which is dope because. He don't be on that fast shit a lot, but he still sound dope as fuck fitting in with these chopper, these chopper scale artists. You know what I mean? Like Twisted, T Nutty. You know what I mean? Like he sounds so dope. You know what I mean? On the track with him. And then Lady Insane, Twisted, and Tris. This song is definitely one of my top favorites on this album, also. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
yeah, Lady Insane, she come with that hard, that hardcore, you feel me, bar for bars once again, you know what I mean? Three songs in, this is that craft I'm talking about, you feel me? This, that perfecting that craft. And then, you feel me, it's the, I don't know, man, her verses, when she features, it's like, oh, you hear that, you hear that hunger in her voice, and I love that shit for real. I'm saying you hear that shit when when she start the verse off in this song, she say look, and then when the motherfuckers say that before going in, you know, you know they about to motherfucking go in, yo. And she killed that third verse on this shit. She killed that shit. Just the the rhyme scheme, the flow, the bounce on the beat, shit dope. You feel me? Shit dope. Another banger. That's three songs in. All of them is 10 out of 10. Easy. You feel me? And she got this song called Bitch Please. You know what I'm saying? Uh, dope production. Dope beat on this shit. Um, killing you with these bars. You feel me? Just, I'm going to keep saying it, man. She beat on that craft. You know what I'm saying? She practiced that craft. You can hear it. You feel me? Like, this shit is just fucking dope. It's a quick little two-minute little, you know what I mean? Kick the door down with the rhymes type song. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, please. You feel me? Not giving a fuck, bitch, please. Yeah, I fuck with this song. Dope-ass beat. Dope-ass production on this shit. Dope rhyme scheme. You know what I'm saying? Once again. Uh, <clears throat> and she got another song. Yeah, then she kind of used that, uh, that little triple voice again, that demonic... And I love that shit. I don't know what it is, but she used that shit kind of like in the background as like a third voice on the song a little bit. And some of the shit she said, you know what I'm saying? Which is, I don't know, that shit dope to me. That shit sound dope. I like that dark shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she got a song called Rep for the Brain, which is dope. You know what I mean? It's like a little slow beat. You know what I mean? And she flow on that shit nice. You know what I mean? Shitting on all the basic ass female shit. You know what I'm saying? Talk about that bullshit that these, you know what I mean, bitches be doing, posing on Instagram and, you know what I'm saying, doing that shit for clout and likes and all that shit, thirst trapping and all that type of shit. Like, she on this, this song, she on some, you feel me, stay in her lane type shit, repping for the brain. You know what I'm saying? She ain't with none of the bullshit that a lot of these females be on. She in her own lane. You know what I'm saying? That she dropping gems in this song. You feel me? If you really listen, she giving you game in this song. You know what I'm saying? Whether you a nigga or a female. You know what I mean? This shit dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, I like the one line. She says, stay open to change. Never stay the same. That shit dope. Um, I thought that was a dope ass line. Um, it's facts. It's truth. It's a whole lot of truth in this song. Um, it's a whole lot of a whole lot of realness in this shit. You feel me? Stay repping for the brain. You know what I'm saying? No matter what, she going to stay repping for that brain sick shit. You feel me? That's just what that song is about, Ref for the Brain. You know what I'm saying? Um, the shit dope, man. It got gems in it. She dropping game in that shit. She keeping it real with herself, true to herself on this song. And the shit just dope. You know what I'm saying? Um, that song is called Ref for the Brain. You feel me? Dope shit to the neck on it. You know what I'm saying? She ain't got no features on that shit. Or the last song, Bitch Please. Uh, and she got a song called Mentally Deranged featuring Kamikaze. Um, excuse me, featuring Kamikaze. This song is dope too. You know what I'm saying? This is definitely one of my favorite tracks. Uh, it's definitely one of my favorite songs. It's going into the mental self type of evaluation. You know what I'm saying? It's a reflection of, you know what I'm saying, yourself. You feel me? Reflection of being an introvert, not fucking with people. You know what I'm saying? Being in your own thoughts and them dark thoughts. You feel me? Battling. You know what I'm saying? All type of mental illness and shit, battling depression, stress, you know what I'm saying? A life itself, you know what I mean? Um, it sounds like she touching on, like, you feel me, a little bit of, like, addiction, you know what I'm saying? Fighting, try to, try to, you know what I mean? Try to fight to wield against that bottle, to drink away all the sorrow, all the pain, you know what I'm saying? All that shit is in this song. Kamikaze, of course, he's a perfect, perfect artist to put on a track like this, because... He brings that feel, you know what I'm saying? He brings that dark feel. He brings that that feel that the song is talking about. You know what I mean? He touches on all that. Um, it's just a dope track, dope collab. Um, 
um, nice dope beat to it. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's real, it's real soft and slow. You know what I'm saying? But it get the point across. You gather what she's talking about. You feel the energy from it. You know what I'm saying? Mentally deranged. That should speak enough for itself. You know what I mean? Just she touches on a lot of shit that we all go through. You know what I'm saying? Anybody will feel this song. Anybody. We all stress out. We all get that depression. We all get, we all got the demons. You know what I'm saying? All of that shit. She touched on all that. You feel me? Um, just a whole lot of mental distress, battling that shit every day. You know what I'm saying? The shit dope. You know what I mean? By myself, living in hell, mentally deranged. Yeah. I fuck with that shit heavy. Um, then she got another song called Deadly. Um, Deadly is dope, too. Uh, Dope-ass beat. You know what I'm saying? Um, Dope-ass sound. This song is on some... I don't know. The beat is on some, like, almost like some real hip-hop shit, like, some Jedi mind trick shit or something like the way the beat sound. The shit is that beat on this song called Deadly is fucking dope. I don't know what I don't know who made the beat, but the beat is killing shit. Like this is some underground hip hop shit for real. The beat is so hard. I don't know who made it, but that shit fucking dope. You know what I'm saying? The rhyme scheme on this shit is dope. The way she spit on that beat is fucking dope. It's dope to hear her spit on this type of beat because it's just, it's not, I mean, I don't know. It's not like a, it's not like a simple, like a hood beat. I don't know how to explain this shit, but it's like a dope, I don't know. It's that hip hop sound to it. Like it's slow and it just got this, all these different elements in it. And it's just like a slow bass line and she kill it over that shit. Dope ass rhyme scheme over that shit. You know what I'm saying? Fast and slow. You know what I mean? The shit dope, man. The shit dope. Um, she definitely was on some street shit. You feel me? Shit can get deadly. You know what I mean? Turn around quick, get deadly. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, this shit dope too. Definitely on some hood shit on this shit. Definitely bar for bar over this beat. Rhyme for rhyme type scheme you know what i'm saying bore for bore rhyme for rhyme type scheme on this whole track i fuck with this song heavy the shit dope and then uh she got a song called gold days you know what i'm saying uh which is a pretty dope song too you know what i'm saying got twisted insane in this song it's an old school feel you know what i mean with the sample that she used on this shit it's like an old school you know what i'm saying kind of feel to the shit with the uh with the sample that she used on the beat you know what I'm saying? Give you kind of an old school kind of feel, kind of a bridge with the new school type deal. Like, you know what I'm saying? If, if that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it's a dope song. It's a dope melody. It's dope sounds to the ears. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she just spitting on some, you feel me? The come up shit. Life. You know what I'm saying? She just keeping it real. You know what I mean? How you came from nothing, you know what I'm saying? And now you doing your thing. Now you come up a little bit, you know what I mean? She talk about family, talk about she need that paper. You know what I'm saying? It's hustle. It's motivation in this song, inspiration in this song. The shit dope. Um, the dope ass first verse, you know what I mean? Um, Twisted spit the second verse. Um, dope bars, you know what I'm saying? Dope rhyme schemes. Like I said, talk about the come up and shit. You feel me? Um, uh, Twisted spit the second verse. You know what I'm saying? He come in, come dope. Um, then he kind of tag team on the third verse. You know what I'm saying? Kind of tag team with Lady Insane on the third verse. They go back and forth on the verse, which sounds dope. Like I said, man, whenever they collab on a track, that shit is fucking dope. I'd be down to hear Twisted and Lady Insane, the whole album for real. I will. I think that'd be some dope shit. Them two on every fucking song? Like, come on, that shit would be stupid hard. You know what I'm saying? Um, then she got a song called Psychosis. You know what I'm saying? Psychosis is dope too. You know what I'm saying? Um, Psychosis is a dope song. You know what I mean? Seems like she talk about that struggle, mental demons. You know what I'm saying? Fighting off that urge. You feel me? Drink that pain away. This is the song she was talking about that. You feel me? A little bit in mentally deranged too. You know what I'm saying? But this shit, you know what I mean? How that shit ignites the evil. You know what I'm saying? At, at, at the same time, when you grab that bottle, you feel me? That urge to drink away that shit. You feel me? That shit ignites the evil in you at the same time. But at the same time, it 
it might drink away the pain. You might drink it away. You know what I mean? Um, psychosis, dope ass song, man. You know what I'm saying? Just a song about that struggle. You feel me? That mental struggle. You know what I'm saying? Having the mental issues, fighting demons every day. That shit is fucking dope, man. Dope ass, dope ass concept on the song for sure. Psychosis, you know what I'm saying? Um, and she got a song called Demons. Now, this song right here is definitely another one of my favorites on top of the favorites. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This song definitely touch home. Um, she definitely talk about, you know what I mean, having them demons. Uh the the hook is dope. Um, the little sample she used, I got demons. That shit dope. Um, everything she talk about in this song, it just hit home to me. Like I really fuck with this shit. I really relate to what she's saying with these demons. You feel me? I don't know if everybody got them, but I know I do. You know what I'm saying? And everything she say is facts. You know what I'm saying? Fighting my demons. Don't want to feel them no more. You know what I'm saying? Might give up hope. Feel them all around till I go. Like, demons. <laughs> I don't know. That shit is... If you ain't... I mean, if you don't really have them or you don't know what she's talking about, this is a good window to sit down and stare through to understand the motherfucker that got these motherfucking demons. You feel me? Because she put it all out there. Everything she talk about is real life shit. You know what I'm saying? Talk about kept fighting them off your whole life every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? Um, she even touched on how it's hard to look in the mirrors. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot of times. That's, that's, I relate to that. That's a lot of reasons. Look, before I started editing my shit, I never used to watch my shit. I, I never watched my own podcast show. And that's a fact because of these motherfucking demons and shit, man. Like, I black out a lot, you know what I mean? So, watching myself, I wasn't feeling that shit because I wouldn't remember a lot of things. And, you know what I'm saying? I don't know a lot of the things I might have said, you know what I mean? So, I didn't, I wasn't comfortable watching myself, you feel me? And she just touched on that by... You know what I'm saying? Talk about it's hard to look in mirrors and shit. And yeah, man, you know what I mean? Talk about how the demons they get off on my grieving. You know what I'm saying? My soul, they need it. You feel me? Like everything she touch on in this shit, man, that shit hit home for real. You know what I'm saying? It ain't too many songs that do that. You know what I mean? But this song right here, though, I don't know, man. She just put it all out there. It's very intimate. Um, it's very real, you know what I'm saying? It's like a very, definitely a window inside of her soul. That's for sure, you know what I'm saying? Like, she definitely put it out there. Like, everything she's saying, she's talking about these demons. I relate. I relate to that shit, you know what I'm saying? Then she said, get off on my, they get off on my grieving. Man, that is the truth, you know what I mean? My soul, they need it. Fuck that, keep breathing. <laughs> This shit dope. Definitely a dope ass song, man. Fighting these demons, man. Uh, and she got a song called Broken Thoughts. Um, that song is dope. Uh, that song is definitely dope. Called, this song called Broken Thoughts. That's the next song. Um, she talk about everyday pain. You know what I'm saying? That mental shit featuring um, Antonia Marquis. You know what I'm saying? Just talking about everyday hustle. You know what I'm saying? Um, feeding your family, you know what I mean? Staying on focus, staying strong. You know what I mean? She definitely touch on staying focused and not losing grip with all the chaos going on in your brain and shit. Um, Antonia Marquis is on the hook. Um, she got a dope-ass voice. Uh, whoever she is, I never heard of her, but um, she definitely got a dope voice. Um, yeah, this song is just the more, the more intimacy inside her soul, inside her feeling her mind, you know what I mean? Um, and it touches home, too. It's just, you know, talk about life and shit. She just on that real shit, that real life shit, you know what I mean? Staying focused, you know what I'm saying? Um, shit dope. Then she, then she got a song called Rap Bitch. Uh, this song is dope, too, you know what I mean? Um, this song is definitely the beat on this song is definitely dope. I uh, got Twisted Insane in here. Um, she on some, you know, definitely stay in her lane type shit. She's not like your average rap bitch. Um, it's, uh, she talk about loyalty, her loyalty to Twisted Insane, which is fucking dope. I think that's dope to put 
uh, through your music and put that out to your to your listeners. Um, I think that's a real intimate thing. That's a personal thing that you put out there through the music. I think that's just dope. Uh, it's another dude who do that. Uh, to, uh, Toby Nguigwe. I don't know if y'all heard of that artist, but he real. You know what I'm saying? He be his wife is part of his clique type shit. You know, he be in his videos with his babies and shit. You feel me? Dancing with his baby in his arm type shit. His wife be there. You know what I'm saying? She rap too. You know, I think that type of shit is dope. Um, the type of unity, you know what I'm saying? And the bond that you put out there when you have a relationship or you married, you know what I'm saying? You, that type of bond and, and able to convey that to the listeners is dope. You know what I'm saying? Twisted bring his twisted shit on the song, uh, on the hook. Uh, like I said, they use that demonic shit again. You know what I'm saying? That demonic sound, that triple voice. You know what I mean? And the hook is dope. How they tag team. You know what I'm saying? Like I said, it's showing the unity. It's showing the, you know what I'm saying, the bondness between them two. You know what I'm saying? With this music shit, which is fucking dope to me. Um, they, you know, yeah, you know what I'm saying? They collab back and forth on the hook. You know what I'm saying? Twisted talk the same type of loyalty to her. You know what I mean? She ain't no rap bitch. She be like, I ain't no rap nigga. You feel me? And he be like, I always just seeing for you. You know what I'm saying? It's just that down ass shit. Like, I'm down for you, you down for me type shit. That's the feel that I got from the shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. And also just her staying in her lane type shit that she not like your average bitch that you see. You know what I mean? Which is it's dope. You know, she a real one. That's what this shit is conveying to the listeners. You know what I mean? I'm not that one. You know what I'm saying? That you, that, you know what I mean? Just because just because she might be pretty and in some heels, you know what I'm saying? She ain't that one that you want to play with at the same time. She with all the smoke. You feel me? So don't get that shit twisted. You know what I'm saying? That's what I got It definitely from that shit. Um, she got a song called The Battle. Um, this song was fucking dope. It was touching on reality shit touching on shit that we all been going through with this racism brutality with these police uh this shit is about the hatred you know what i'm saying about black lives you know what i mean how they doing us dirty um how you can lose your life just driving around out this shit you feel me uh shit is dope she got a clip from one of the women that was speaking about the riots and shit and the protests and shit that was going on in the song that she used to put in the song because it relates to the song and what she's talking about. Um, this was also a single that she put out before the album came out. And this shit was dope. Um, I definitely felt what she was talking about. Kind of political a little bit. You know, it's definitely hood at the same time. Um, the shit is just dope. She touching on you feel me, these punk ass police and how they doing us dirty. You know what I'm saying? Um, the hate for the melanated. You know what I'm saying? She said that shit in the song too. Uh, that shit is dope. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, that shit is dope. Dope ass beat, dope production on that shit too. Once again, um, then she got a song called Drive Slow. Um, this song, dope, dope ass bars. Uh, this shit to me is about just being solid in these streets. You know what I'm saying? Being cautious. You know what I'm saying? Being cautious out here. Um, and, you know, once again, she ain't the one to fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this shit dope. The hook is dope. Um, featuring a dude named Ethan Pill. I think that's his name. I think that's what it said. I, if I'm wrong, I apologize. But I never heard a dude, but uh, he on the hook. And the shit dope. Um, shit called Drive Slow. That shit's dope. Dope ass production on that shit. Uh, then she got a song called Coming For Me. This song right here is dope. The production on this song is dope. Um, this should sound like some Khaled shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, this sound like some shit that DJ Khaled would, would, would produce. Like, almost, I was almost ready to hear this nigga say we the best on this fucking track. The, the way the production is, like, the hook, everything is dope on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's just like on some keeping it real shit, you know what I'm saying? Come with it if you coming for me type shit, you know what I'm saying? Because she let you know she ain't no punk, she ain't no punk bitch. If you're going to come with it, you feel me? You better come all the way with it, you know what I mean? She with all the smoke, you know what I'm saying? Um, don't disrespect, 
You feel me? Don't don't come out of it with no sucker shit. You know what I'm saying? This song is definitely inspirational and motivational at the same time. Um, the hook is definitely dope. Like I said, the whole production of the song is they went all out with this one. You know what I mean? Everybody that had a piece in this song, it feels like they all put they all into the key part and what they were supposed to do on it. Everybody did their thing as far as whoever was involved. It's just a dope ass production. Um, like I said, it sounded like some Cali production shit. You know what I mean? Just the beat, the little piano and the beat, and the way she spit on that shit. It's just a dope ass song. Again, you know what I mean? Um, that song is called Coming for Me. Um, then the last song that she got is called S T F O M I. That shit means um, stay the fuck out my inbox. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, just exactly what that shit says. The beat is fucking dope. Uh, she got like these little bells in the background to beat the sound fucking dope. She rhymes dope as fuck over the beat. You know, she bounce on each little, each little hit point. You know what I mean? With the rhyme schemes that she do, she just bounce on that shit, and it sound fucking dope. Uh, she addressing all the fuck boys and shit talkers on the internet and shit, all the haters in the comments. You know what I'm saying? She letting you know that she bout that shit. She with the smoke. She bout that life. So don't get on her shit talking all that shit. You feel me? She'll find out where the fuck you at type shit. That's what this song is about. You know what I mean? She down to pull the fuck up on you if you gonna run your mouth talking greasy. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, it's just addressing all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Dope beat, dope song. Definitely a dope ass concept. Um, you know what I'm saying? Then she, you know, corny ass looking motherfucker. <laughs> she said that's at the end of the song. Shit's fucking dope, man. Stay the fuck out my inbox. You feel me? Uh, yeah. Want to talk shit? Make your body drop. You know what I mean? Come get your body drop. Yeah, that shit dope. Um, like I said, whenever I do these album reviews, I'll be having this shit playing in my ear. So, you know what I'm saying? Um, the shit dope, um, because you know, YouTube won't let me put these shits on here without no copyright infringements and all that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the last song, though. Um, definitely a dope ass album. I will give this shit definitely tens across the board. Production, beats, rhymes, bars, collabs, features. All that shit. This shit is a dope ass fucking album, yo. And it's only her second one. You feel me? Like, I can't wait to see the future as far as more to come. Like, the shit is dope. It's only her second motherfucking album. You know what I'm saying? Second one. Two studio albums. And this shit sounding like this. Like, yo, the third, fourth, fifth is going to be blowing each last one out the water. You feel me? That's a fact. Same shit with Nipsey. You know what I'm saying? I heard Nipsey shit all the way from when he first was coming up all the way to his death. And you can hear the rise. Uh, you can hear the first album. The second album was better than the first. You can hear the third was better than the second. You can hear the fourth was better than the third and so on. You know what I mean? He perfected his craft. That's what I mean. Beat on that craft. You know what I mean? Take this rap shit serious. A lot of motherfuckers doing this rap shit and they know they don't gotta, they don't gotta, you feel me? They know they don't have to talk that crap they ain't got to beat on that crap because they got that star power you know what i'm saying so a lot of these niggas is weak you feel me a lot of these bitches is weak you know what i'm saying that's a fact it ain't no bars in the game no more you know what i'm saying but fuck with brain sick music you're gonna hear bars you're gonna hear flow you're gonna hear rhyme scheme you're gonna hear motherfuckers beat on their crap and shout out to all the brain sick you feel me shout out to dickles shout out to kamikaze shout out to c ray Shout out to Twisted Insane. Shout out to Lady Insane. Man, all y'all over there at Brain Sick, man. Keep doing y'all motherfucking thing, man. For real, man. Keep putting out that fire, man. I'm going to always slap all that shit. You feel me? We got Twisted shit coming later on in the year, October. Um, Yeah, Lady Insane, though. Near Dark. You feel me? Second album. The shit was dope. You know what I'm saying? I definitely fuck with it. I should have reviewed Deja Vu for real, but I was in the midst of other things and doing other shit at the time. 
And then, Dan, you know, all of a sudden, boom, she dropped another album. I said, man, I'm definitely reviewing this one. This shit got to get to my listeners. If y'all ain't heard of Lady Insane, man, go cop that shit. Go download that shit. Stream that shit. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? Cop that shit, though. Listen to that shit. That shit dope. You know what I mean? Dope female artist. You feel me? Lady Insane. Near Dark. Yeah. Yeah. That's my full album review. You know what I mean? Kind of motherfucking podcast, as you see right there. <laughs> you feel me? That motherfucking sign. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. Stay in your lane. I love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. Lady Insane, Near Dark, episode 52. Signing off. You know what I'm saying? Hope all y'all cool. Thank all y'all for watching. Thank all y'all for still rocking with me. Thank all y'all for still watching this shit till now. You know what I mean? Even through these credits. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Cash Podcast. <laughs> Episode motherfucking 52, my album review of Lady Insane's Near Door.